Hey y'all and welcome to the Ladywing Designs channel. My name is Zakia and uh, yeah, we're here for another whip update. It's Wednesday, April the 15th, 2020 and I hope that you're all doing um, as well as we can be right now. Still craziness happening everywhere, but um, yeah, we've got our crafts. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're enjoying your crafting or um, whatever you've been getting up to, reading, painting, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I've got a good bit of whips here. Um, I have some haul that I want to show you guys from the retreat back in January because I never showed you guys all of that. So, um, yeah, really not much to say, honestly. Uh, I didn't do a video last week. I've missed like three videos now because I haven't been doing my craft with me either. Um, but yeah, so I'm back at my place. I'm kind of like jumping back and forth between here and my boyfriend's so that I don't have to stare at the same walls all the time. So I am back in my apartment for uh, probably another couple weeks. And then, yeah, where was what was I going to say? Oh, um, this past weekend I kind of lost my mojo completely and then when it came back it was knitting mojo so I have a finished object um, which you will have seen if you um, follow me on Instagram so yeah just update stuff really I haven't been doing much I mean schoolwork sitting around crafting not much um, so yeah let's just jump right in because I really don't have anything else to say so let me pull up my show notes. That would be helpful instead of being on Instagram. Okay, so my only finished object, I think this is, it doesn't really matter. It's all garter. Um, so this is my hitchhiker shawl. It's a pattern by Martina Bem or Beam. Can't remember which one it is. It might be Beam. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll be linked in the show notes, which um, you can go to the description box below, and there's a direct link to the show notes on the blog. Everything's linked there. Um, yeah, but this is the Hitchhiker Shawl. I knit this as a uh, as part of the knit-along that's going on with the Fiber Friends Friday Night Knit-In <laughs> Facebook group. Um, yeah. So I finally started mine Thursday? I can't really remember. Um, it was a very quick knit because I, I just got addicted to the garter. I was not really feeling my stitching at the end of last week and over the weekend. So this got picked up a lot um, and worked on. But it's done and I'm super excited about it. So the color that you all are seeing on the screen is actually what, um, like what I would like this to look like. <laughs> I mean, it's fine that it, like, I still love the color and, um, you can kind of see when I come closer, there's, I don't know, it kind of looks, it does look more purplish, but there's a good bit of pink. The pink pops a lot more than it is on screen. Um, yeah, so there's that. Anyway, so I will be keeping this to use because it's a perfect, like, denim wear it with blue jeans color, even with all the pink in there. Plus, for somebody that doesn't like pink, um, I have a ridiculous amount of pink in my closet. Like, it's not a ton, but it's still... Actually, I don't know. I might have more yellow than pink now, so we might be okay. <laughs> but at one point, I had more pink clothes in my closet than I did yellow, and that's, like, it doesn't even make sense. But anyway... I'm super excited about this. I'm really glad to have it done. Um, and it's perfect, like, chilly spring weather, so it's really, like, the perfect time to be wearing it before it gets super hot. Um, so these teeth, so the name of the pattern, um, Hitchhiker, is inspired by um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because when the designer uh, was knitting up this pattern with the yarn that she used, uh, which was a bigger skein, she got 42 of these little teeth. Um, and 42, everyone knows, Hitchhiker's Galaxy. So, um, 
answer to the question that I never can remember verbatim. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so I was super excited. I purposely used a skein that was closer to 500 yards so that I could make it pretty big because I really wanted to try to get as close to the 42 teeth as I could and I did pretty good I got to 38 so done I'll fold that up again later <laughs> don't have time so that was my finished object oh the yarn is um Rita Mae yarns in the colorway galaxy and I've had that for a few years now so it was nice to use up some stash so now let's jump into whips and I'm actually gonna I have one knitting whip and I'll just go ahead and do it um, so as soon as before I even finished my hitchhiker I had already wound up the yarn for my next shawl um, oh crap hold on pause I need to get something okay forgot to get part of my yarn here so um, I had already wound up, kicked up the next yarn that I was going to use, and I'm keeping this in my little sock sack because um, it's just easy. So this is Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge yarns in uh, their Bambi base and the Ocean Wave colorway. So there's the info. I have had this for even longer than I've had the Rita Mae yarns uh, skein. This, I, I'm pretty positive. Um, but this skein I got my freshman year of college, which was four years ago now. Um, almost five years. This is my fifth year of college. Oh gosh. Anyway, okay, so uh, my freshman year when I was moving down here for school I stayed in a dorm my freshman year so there wasn't a ton of room and my mom for some reason anyway she was just trying to make sure that I had room but you know space but yeah anyway she was like yeah you're only taking 10 skeins of yarn keep in mind that I had been knitting for two years at that point so I was like all in <laughs> and I still remember I was like 10 skeins you're kidding me no. Like, I'm basically going to get down there and buy a whole nother stash. Like, doesn't make sense. So, the knit group, um, I had just found a knitting group up there before I moved down here, of course. Um, and they were like, that's ridiculous. So, they sent me, like, a box of stuff. They all kind of contributed um, from their stash and sent yarn and pattern books, um, individual patterns, um, like, free ones that they printed out. And, um like little notions and stuff. It was just, it was super awesome. And I was still um, kind of new. Well, I wasn't new to knitting, but I wasn't like buying the super fancy yarn and stuff. So it was just really nice. And um, this skein was in there. That was a super long story for no reason. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is, oh, wow. I've been, I've had this memorized wrong the whole time. So this is not, okay, so I thought this was merino silk, superwash merino and silk, because it's super shiny. It is not. It's bamboo, um, which explains the shine. So I don't know the percentages. I'm not quite sure that it's 50-50. They don't have it on there. But it's merino and bamboo, so it has a really nice uh, sheen to it. You guys can see it there on the screen. And this is, so I weighed this um, after I caked it up, and I guess I just assumed, because they also don't have the weight on there for what you're supposed to get, so generally you get 100 grams, so uh, I was like, oh, this is only 87, why am I missing, you know, part of this game? Okay, they must have used part of it. No, when you buy these skeins, it's 85 grams, because they um, give you 400 yards, so... I do have a full skein, but I wasn't quite happy with the 87 grams, so I'm also going to use um, this color. It's a really nice denim. I mean, it's basically showing up as as what it looks like. Um, but this is Blueberry Crumb Cake from the Woolen Homestead. Also kind of an older skein, not as old as this one, but I think 
uh, I think these will look really good together. There are some, let me hold up the shawl. You might be able, yes, I think you can see it a little better. So um, it's this really beautiful blue, which I totally have described as 996 because it's 996 DMC color. So um, it's that blue and then there's like a purple, like a lavender purple in there and kind of a greenish gray. Um, so I think the blueberry crumb cake will lend well to the purple in that skein and the darker colors. So I am, ooh, I've started this next shawl. I'll tell you about the pattern in a second. And it's going well. It's even simpler than the Hitchhiker. Um, the Hitchhiker is like an eight row repeat. Um, it, they're practically all the same, but it's eight rows. This is just a two row repeat. So it's even less thinking. And I've already got a good bit done and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So this pattern is the um, Linus Shawl by someone, <laughs> cause I don't remember who. Hold, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find this. Cause I can also show you a picture. It's just a basic, um, it's kind of like the Hitchhiker, it's just a basic, uh, garter stitch shawl. So you're just knitting back and forth, back and forth. Um, I won't show the pattern on the screen, but it is free, so... Um, you can just go to Ravelry and download it. It's in several different languages. Um, so that's the shawl. It's called the Linus Shawl. And it is by Annette Cordez. <clears throat> so yeah, I saw this shawl talked about on um, the Stranded podcast with Amy Florence. And it was like years ago now, I'm pretty sure. Um, but she talked about how she loved it and it's just simple garter, etc. Okay, excuse the car horns. So, um, I have my window open. So yeah, I when I finished The Hitchhiker and I was like, I want another just garter stitch shawl, I immediately thought of this. Um, it just popped in my head. So I looked up the pattern and wound up the yarn and was ready. And I started. And I'm really, really enjoying that. Um, I need to clean up my craft space. All of this, I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't show that. And then I was like, no, this is real life. Um, it looks that messy. <laughs> For real. So, okay, that's my knitting whip. I've been working on that. Uh, pretty much whenever I pick it up, I feel like I can't put it down. Because it's just mindless. It's just knitting back and forth. So, let's move into some cross stitch whips. The uh, first one that I worked on after I left you last was When Thou Art Rich by Hands Across the Sea. I had just started this. I don't really... Oh, I well, I kind of remember what I had. Um, I haven't worked on this since, uh, since whenever that was that I stopped working on it. I can't even tell you anymore. At least probably, well... Two weeks ago, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so this is where I am right now. I'm stitching this uh, 2 over 2 on 36 count graphite from Color and Cotton. And I'm using the suggested DMC colors. So I think last time I just had, I had like half of this row of Algerian eyelets and I think I had started on uh, this green border uh, outline so now I have I continued the green I started filling in with a lot of the yellow and I worked some more on Algerian eyelets so I did more up here basically doubled it and then started on this line so that I can come down and start working on this second panel right here because there's more, uh, that's another cross stitch panel and there are uh, blues that are introduced in that one so that I can have like a lot of different colors and different places to work because um, yeah. plus I need some type of motivation to help myself get through the Algerian eyelets so yeah. 
they are super pretty but it's 16 different stabs for one eyelet so it does take longer than you know just a cross stitch um, yeah but it's okay I'm really loving it I need to what are people doing today I seriously should have I should have closed the window sorry <laughs> um, I don't what are you doing like just go where you're going this is what I have to deal with people that think they should just rev their cars sorry about it um, yeah so anyway this is where I am on this uh, no fat girl sewing yes fat girl sewing for the grime guard uh, top knot stitcher for the egg needle minder and uh, 1884 stitchery for the abstract geometric shape needle minder okay I'm gonna pause because this is bothering me so okay I think we're good now hopefully anyway <laughs> You should have seen me. I was just like staring it out the window, basically like spewing expletives. Um, anyway, okay, so this is where I am on this. Like I said, I haven't worked on it again um, since I put it down, so there's really not much to show you. I have to put that back in the plastic. Okay, next I went to Change of Seasons. And worked on this a little bit and I actually this is not from this past weekend this is from the one before that um, I because my mojo kind of died this weekend and I was just basically knitting that was all my brain could handle um, I never picked this up this weekend so I think I am behind on like my weekly goal for stitches but that's okay um, if I have some time well it's Wednesday so the weekend will be here really soon so this weekend I'll try to f get some work in on this for sure and try to get like a thousand stitches in or something um, so I can kind of catch back up to where I was so this is change of seasons by mystic stitch uh, change of seasons 2 by mystic stitch and um, yeah I think I, I pretty much just worked over here um, yeah so I worked in here uh, moved outward and hold on you guys can't see this very well okay so you can you can kind of see here uh, I've like made a mark up here above the stitching there's also one right here these are like where the page breaks are so you can see I kind of crossed over into page two a little bit, started filling in over here, and then there was a space, so I came back, yeah, I came back like in here and started filling in that as well. Um, yeah, so I'll probably just be working over here some more, bring it down, and then jump back over here and keep filling in. So this is, um, this is where I'm at. Needle minder. Uh, Brenda, Brenda's Minders and More on Facebook, Silver Moon Sewing, I think this is 25 count, yeah, 25 count, um, okay, there's that, like I said, not much, it's only one color, I'll be working in that one color for a minute. <laughs> So next up is cardinal points, which I'm keeping in a um, pretty southern project bag. It's got the vinyl. And this is where I am. So because it's not on a Q-snap, you guys get to see where it is completely, which is okay. So I really wanted... My goal for April with this, um, okay, actually, pause. I need to go back a little bit because I haven't explained to you guys about Whipco this month. So, okay, Whipco is a group on Facebook started by Jessie Marie. 
um, of Jess and Marie Does Stuff. It's basically bingo. You put different whips on there or different parts of whips, like if it's a full coverage page, etc. Um, yeah, so each box is a different whip and you have a goal that you want to reach for that whip either for the whole year or for the month that it's called. Some people did both. Um, yeah, and then she pulls two numbers, draws two numbers every month and those are basic, a lot of people are using them as your focus pieces that month basically. I've been horrible um, all year so far about working on my whip go pieces and this month the pieces that were called just happened to actually like reach I don't know my mojo my soul I don't know <laughs> um, so that was good um, and then the other thing that happened with whip go this month is a whip go shuffle so April is Jessie Marie's birthday month and she wanted to I, I can't remember exactly what she said in the post but basically it's her birthday month so we're getting special um, privileges like I guess you could say I don't know that's not the right word but you guys know what I mean so um so the whip go shuffle is basically um you could pick okay numbers 11 and 25 got called this month if you wanted and you don't have to um it's totally everyone's own choice but if you wanted you could switch one of your other whips on the board that hasn't been called yet so any of the squares that have been called you can't exchange those but anything that hasn't been called yet you could um, switch you could switch one of those with one of the numbers that was called this month you can only switch one you can't do both you can't undo it if you switch and I thought about it it was at the beginning of the month and you have all month um, to like make your switch official um, and have that done but it was the beginning of the month and I kind of wanted to have that solved so I knew what I was working on. So uh, spot 25 was temperature quilt. Um, I left that because it's super easy and my mojo kind of needs that right now. So hopefully that'll be pulled out um, with sometime next week probably. And then um, the other one that was called 11 was quotes to live by uh, part Two, I think like one of the quote sections and I wasn't really feeling like working on that and I had already planned to pull out cardinal points so I just said you know what let's do that um, it was between this and love and unity actually but I pulled out love and unity and like put it on the Q-snap and everything like had the I had a uh, parked thread on the fabric and like put it on the needle and everything and it wasn't calling me so I said let's make it cardinal points instead so I switched quotes to live by and cardinal points I could have showed you my board but it's not that big a deal um, so basically I just switched those two so cardinal points I am aiming to finish this year but for this month I didn't want to finish it this month uh, so for April I just said I want to finish two pages which would be page two where I started I was working on that and page three and that'll finish the top half of the pattern so the goal was to have page three done before I filmed. <laughs> that was part of the reason, kind of part of the reason I didn't film last week. Um, cause it wasn't done and it's still not done, but oh well. So here is Cardinal Points. Um, yeah, I love it. Excuse the wrinkles. I uh, just took it out at a key snap last night. So I... I love this. It's so bright and colorful and just awesome. I, I really have enjoyed picking this up again is exactly what I needed. Um, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's so nice to see it like in full and not on the cue stamp. So this is what I've got done so far. Um, okay. 18 count white ADA, 2 over 1, um, DMC conversion from Gentle Arts, that's on the blog, you can see all the colors that I use, and changes as far as that. So I, um, I, you can see the W down there for West is still in the original color, but 
when I got up here, I decided, hey, um, I almost didn't even realize that the directions were actually on the pattern. That's why it's called cardinal points, because of the cardinal directions. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, it, like, seriously, y'all, it took me so long before I realized the letters were on there, and that's why they were on there. Uh, it was... I laughed at myself for a long time when I realized that. So I decided, hey, let's make them stand out. I'm going to change them to yellow. Uh, so yeah, it's the same. All the changes that I'm using are in the same colors, except for one. We'll get to that. So I will be going back and ripping out the W. And then what other change? Oh, okay. The only other two changes that I've done so far are on this side. Uh, so this plant, well, hold on, let me just hold it open so you can tell. So you can see it's like a pinkish purple. I changed it because I realized that this pattern is entirely things that I generally wouldn't stitch. It's basically all plants. I'm not a floral person or a plant person in both my stitching and in real life. So, um... Yeah, when I realized that, and it kind of like hit me full on, and I looked at the pattern, and I was like, it's literally a bunch of leaves. Like, <laughs> definitely the colors are what made me want to stitch this, and not the actual things in the pattern. The colors and like this sentiment are seriously what got me. So I said, you know, let's reward myself. We're going to change some of these things so that it's more me. Um, so I'm glad that I'm changing the letters, and then I decided to change this plant here um, so I did that in orange and yellow instead and then for some reason when I was finishing that up I looked at this dog and I said hmm this dog should be taking a poop I don't know why have no idea and I was on the phone with my mom I was sitting next to my boyfriend and on the phone with my mom and I said for some reason I want to stitch some poop behind this dog and my mom went why would you like what's the point but, you know, we were laughing about it. And then, of course, <laughs> Richard goes, yeah, I think you should. And you could, like, put it right there. And he, it was so funny. Like, he totally was backing me up on this and was, like, helping me figure it out. Like, he helped me pick out the right color, too. <laughs> it was hilarious. So I have no idea if anyone has even noticed this when I posted it on Instagram, the last picture, because I forgot to do a close-up of the dog, but, uh, yeah. Dog's taking a poop. So, there you go. You're welcome. I love it. Hindsight, I actually was thinking I should have put it next to the pink plant so he's not pooping next to my pretty yellow-orange flower, but it's fine. Um... It's fine. I, I didn't want to rip it out because I had already done this and then ripped it out once because uh, the color was too bright. It wasn't the right brown. Um, yeah, so I wasn't going to rip it out again. And I didn't want both dogs to be pooping, just one. So there you go. <sighs> I love it. Um, and then another change that I'm going to do. So on this, this like inside, whoops. Okay, this inside bit, not the outside flower border, um, on this bottom half there are two g giant ass flowers. That's seriously what I think of them. Um, there's two giant ass flowers in that bottom half and I am going to change this one. So it'll be a cross from the orange and yellow up top. This one will also be oranges and yellows. Um, yeah. So that's that. Another look because I just love this. So cardinal points. Uh, I don't ever know if I actually said, but this is a pattern by Long Dog Samplers. Pretty sure I didn't. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Next. Um, okay, so I only worked a little bit on this project. Um, I keep this entirely in my Slytherin Crest Floss Buddy from, or not Floss Buddy, uh, Bitsy Bob. 
I was thinking Bitsy Bob and still said Floss Buddy. Um, yeah, anyway, Slither and Bitsy Bob from That's So Kelly Co. I love this thing. So, this is Mexicanita by uh, Johnny Stitcher Y A N Y. She'll be linked. Well, she's linked on the project page. Um, okay. Needle minder that I'm using, I got uh, from Michelle Bindi, because Sugar Skulls. And this is where I am on this one. So I already had all of the border done and most of this hair that's here was already done. Uh, as soon as I picked it up, I had to fix a mistake over here because the last time I worked on it, I had a mistake, ripped it out, fixed the mistake, but it actually wasn't fixed. I think this was, this was actually at the retreat. And then I messed it up again, so I was like, screw it, I'm not working on this. Um, and I put it back up and haven't touched it since. So I pulled it out um, sometime last week, only for like barely any time. And just did a little bit of the stitching in here on her hair. Like seriously, not even that much. So that's coming along. Um, I need to pick it up again, but I haven't. This is uh, 2 over 2 on 30 count corn silk linen from Weeks Dye Works. I'm using all the called for DMC, including the two um, variegated colors. There's only seven colors in this one. So, yep, there's that. Oh, if you've never seen um, a Bitsy Bob, so on the inside, this is um, felt, I think. Um, this, yeah, I'm pretty, anyway, this is felt, um, so that when you, like, if you put your, well, okay, this is a, well, okay, it's floss. Anyway, if you have floss and you set it on there, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not gonna drop. It's stuck. So, um, like, when you're using, I had some laying out yesterday. If you're, like, using your floss, um, you know, and you don't want to have to keep putting it up and such, better example. <laughs> you can just slap it on there and it's not going to fall off and you don't have to keep like taking them off the bobbins and stuff. Just have it sitting out. It's super helpful. And then this is a her little logo here. Um, that's also the name of her shop. That's So Kelly Co. It's a little magnet in there so you can sit um, needles or scissors right there. I still use a needle minder. Um, but yeah, usually my scissors go right there. And then, as you can see, there was a little pocket on the side. Um, and that's where I keep all my flosses for this project. So, okay, if I could just get this snapped. <laughs> so that is that project. And then, I think this is the last one. Yes. So um, this is the last whip, which just got started oops, last night um, so I'm not gonna turn this around it's a freebie from Marjorie Massey it's called needle art um, you can get this as a it's a little freebie chart um, just on a card here it's on the other side um, but when you make an order with kitten stitcher um, she has these to send with your order so that's how I got it and I wasn't really sure that I was going to ever stitch it because, I mean, it's basically a small sampler, like truly, it's, it's a small sampler. Um, and I wasn't sure that I was going to do it because y'all know me, I'm not super big into, um, into samplers or anything, but she says after showing you a hands across the sea, but, um, then I, I literally looked at it like some, a couple mornings ago. And then that evening, Bendy posted that she was starting it. Oh, excuse me. And she's using um, an amazing color of um, color and cotton floss. It's Bar Jello. Totally gonna have to buy like 
a giant quantity of that at some point. It's gorgeous. It's the perfect fall color. Go look at it if you haven't seen it. Um, but anyway, so I was like, dude, I should, I gotta do it now. Bindi's doing it. And I was just kind of contemplating starting it. So I should totally do it, right? And then I was like, dude, you only have so much fancy floss. Because I don't have a big stash of it. Um, like, literally my entire fancy floss stash is sitting right here. Um, not what y'all can see, but, like, it's all right here. <laughs> so I said this would be a great way to use part of that because I almost never use them. And then it turns out that it's kind of, like, we're basically selling it now because Michelle was stitching it along with, um, I think her name is Kristen. I just looked and I can't remember. I think it's Kristen. Um... But she's Blue Bonnets and Whiskey on Instagram. And so, yeah, they're both doing it um, in the Bargello colorway. Slightly jealous. Like, seriously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I said, you know, if y'all are doing this and I was thinking about it, totally got to do it. Or actually, I posted and I was like, dude, I was just thinking, just looking at this and thinking about starting it. And then Kristen commented and I was like, mm hmm, do it. And I said, yeah, I'm already thinking about fabric and floss. So um, it all worked out. And we're basically all doing a color and cotton theme with this. I don't know if that was their plan. Um, but most of my fancy flosses, um, I think I only have one now that's not color and cotton. Um, and it's just a tiny mini skein. And there are two, the two DMC variegateds I'm also using in this. But yeah, everything else is color and cotton, including the fabric. And uh, yeah, it's, it's super exciting. I love that. I love when there's like a definite theme. So anyway, I started this yesterday. I, um, sat down and really thought about the colors and pulled out all my fancy floss and stuff. Sorry, I've got an eyelash thing happening here. Um... Okay, I get it together, please. So, this is oh, this is where I am so far. So I started somewhere that I never really start in patterns in the bottom right corner because I really wanted to make this bird a raven, um, stitching it in that color. So I don't actually know what color of floss this is. I need to message Angela a picture and. Um, see if she recognizes it and ask her what it is because I love it. It's got a ton of variegation. It's like a I don't know what uh, colors these are because it was just like a, two little gift skeins. I think I showed you guys this um, Yeah, and she doesn't have the colors on there, but it's gorgeous. It's like grays and darker grays Basically, they've got kind of a brownish purplish tint to them respectively it's it's oh gosh I really hope I was not showing you the pattern I'll have to I'll fix that if I did um but yeah so I thought that would be perfect for the bird he actually has a little branch in his mouth but I I didn't feel like I forgot and wasn't about to yeah it doesn't matter it's just a bird now <laughs> so um there's that I love the variegation on him so much and then I went to the snail and I uh looked up pictures of snails. I'm not necessarily trying to make this realistic looking, but I, I kind of wanted to. So, um, I found snails that were basically both of those colors. So I just decided to do his, Ooh, excuse my stomach. If you can hear that, I decided to do his body in that same, uh, darker color. And then I did his shell in terracotta. So that's where we are right now. I might, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. There's like a, hold on, hold on. So there's like this little border right here. Um, and I really love that border and I, I kind of wanted to do it in this color um, because I really love the variegation in it, but I'm not quite sure. It's between that and... Oh yeah, you you can totally see that. It's between that color and this color. So this is um, the color that I'm using in Meganitha on her hair. It's um, DMC 4000. It's a variegated. And I had to order this one. Well, I had to order both of them off of 123 Stitch. But um, it's browns and 
grays and like a bluish gray. It's got like at least three different shades of brown. Um, some of them kind of have a greenish tint. It's just gorgeous. I love, there's a ton of variegation and that's what I want for my border. So I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to use. I'm kind of waiting just in case I use more of this gray color and don't have enough since it's only a half skein. So that's where I am silver moon sewing for the grime guard. Um, the fabric is 32 count river rock also from color and cotton. So totally on theme. And actually this is the same exact piece of fabric that Bofa sampler is on. I haven't even cut it off yet. Um, I just skipped enough space. That's actually why I started. That's the other reason why I started in the bottom right corner because I like skipped space over here, put a needle there and then was like, okay, I only have so much space to work with here. So I just started on this side. I'm really enjoying this though. This variegation is making me so happy. Like, I think my favorite part of this so far is going to be the bird, <laughs> which is kind of weird. So, uh, there's that. I think I said everything about this one. Needleminder from Stitch and Button, uh, Vicky. Okay, so I think that's all my whips. And I... Do I have plans? Obviously, yes. Okay. Not obvious to y'all. Obvious to me, because that's why all this stuff's up here in the first place. <laughs> so, uh, two patterns that I was kind of going back and forth uh, two days ago on whether or not I wanted to start. And I think I'm going to start them both. Um, so I'm working on this one right now. I think I'm going to try to keep working on this one until it's done. It's kind of small. I'm loving the variegation. So I'm going to see if I can stick with this at least for a while, but I would like to finish it. And then one of my market purchases, The Queen That Was, from Ink Circles, I will be starting this next. So, oops. Um, I pulled out this Black Ada because I think I'm going to do it on black. I, it's on a dark fabric anyway. Um, and somebody did stitch it on black and it was amazing. So I need to decide now. Um if I'm going to stitch it on Black Ada or Black Even Weave, because I found a piece of that earlier that I somehow completely forgot about. So that will be uh, started soon. That might be the next one. And then the other one is um, some Stitchy Kindness uh, that I got from a viewer. And it's uh, basically Halloween Quaker. It's in French. <laughs> Um, by Jardin Privé, and super excited. So, that's what that pattern looks like. It's just black and white, that's it. Um, and I have at least nine uh, pieces of this light mocha Belfast linen that I cut up for my cottages, and I'm not doing any more of those, so... I can I can use that that'll be super easy to start it's just two colors I already have the fabric um, yeah so who knows that might even be next I'm not quite sure so those are my two plans so haul that's the last thing and I think it's just retreat haul that I have to show you okay so um, Kind of the thing that I have, I had all of my retreat starts sitting in, is um, this bag. And I also, so this is actually a set that I got. I don't remember how much of the stuff I showed you guys. I don't think I showed you all of it, so bear with me. But um, this Alabama vinyl project bag, for obvious reasons, obvious reasons. Um, yeah. Yeah. Plus, it's got the updated helmet number, and I appreciate that very much. So, I got this. It was a set. Um, there was a smaller bag over in it that's this size, and I gave that to my mom. Um, also, for obvious reasons, uh, she went to Alabama. Her name starts with A, so she totally uses the script A as, like, kind of her own initial a lot of the time. Um... 
yeah, and it was smaller. She doesn't like stitch giant things. Um, she usually uses it for like her cards or um, if she needs to carry like scrapbooking stuff or whatever. So I gave her the smaller one because I totally needed the bigger bag. <laughs> um, so that was one thing. The lady's name is Kay Kern. Um, I, I'll have to look it up if she has a Facebook group or something. I'm not quite sure. So I got that from her. This bag is also from her. You can see it's also vinyl. It's World Maps. I showed y'all this one before because Quilting Bee is in it. Um, Quilting Bee I bought at the retreat. So, okay, let me back up. Um, I'm showing you guys um, haul that I bought at the retreat that I went to back in January. I've like very, not vaguely, but like really barely mentioned this. Um, so Katrina Boyd, I'll link her website in the uh, show notes. She puts on lots of different retreats, mainly in the Southeast and Southeast United States. And um, one of them that she does apparently every year in January is in Huntsville, Alabama. It's only a couple hours north of where I am. And I said, you know, I have to do this. And I had a fabulous time. It was wonderful. Um, I met a lot of awesome people. And of course, I bought stuff. So I got um, these bags from there. And then I also bought um, Blue Flower Quilting Bee. The pattern. I didn't have the pattern yet. Um, and then I also obviously the pattern what a, what oh okay anyway <laughs> I can't even so you guys are just basically getting to see this because I'm pulling it out but um I haven't worked on this at all but this fabric also was from the retreat so it's a beautiful I'm gonna hold this up it's a beautiful even weave I mean I just love it so uh when I was looking at the fabric table I actually found the black where is it? The black piece first. It, they look like the same exact fabric. I found the black piece first and basically snatched it up because it's even weave and it's black and it's a pretty good size. So I snatched that up and then um, I went to the fabric table at least like four different times, probably more than that. And then at some point I uh, realized that this even weave um, it, it's pretty much the same exact thing. They look like the same exact thing, just different colors. So I said, heck yeah, I need both of those. And since, like I said, since I've got it out, I'll just hold this up. So that's where I am on it. I love this project. I need to get back to it at some point. She says about everything. So, um, this pattern and the fabric were also a retreat haul. Oh, this uh, bag has library books on the inside. Another reason that I had to get it, because I love books and I love maps. So, yeah. Okay, put that back in there. So, um, yeah, so those two pieces of fabric uh, I bought this little pattern from heart and hand called uh wander it's a wee one apparently <laughs> uh it's called wander and it just has a couple of toadstools and it says not all those who wander are lost um yeah so i'll be stitching that i wish that i had a red variegated floss but i don't hmm. anyway i'll probably just be stitching it in dmc anyway because it's really not that much um, yeah, so there's that. I bought that as well. I also bought a little, um, happy birthday pattern. It's, like, super tiny. Um, it was small enough that my mom could put it on the front of her cards, and when I saw it, I thought of her, because she does birthday cards and, um, Mother's Day cards, you know, just different types of cards. So, I bought that for her and gave it to her, and then, hmm. I know what I I know what I want to have right now, but I'm not quite sure where it is. Like what I want to show you guys. 
I don't remember where it actually is right now. That's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. I can't remember. Darn. I was going to show you the, um, hmm. Okay. I'll have to find it and sit it aside and show you guys next time. But, uh, the Music City Cross Stitchers group, a lot of them that I, a lot of them I met at the retreat, um, cause Franklin and Nashville are only a couple hours north of Huntsville. So, uh, a lot of them were there. Or not a lot. I don't know how many of them there are, but a good bit of them were there. And, um, one of the ladies, she gave everyone, um, or she had made corner gauges, good grief, <laughs> for everyone. Um, they're beautiful. They're woodcut. Um, it says Music City Cross Stitchers. It's got the Nashville skyline, which is like my favorite skyline ever. So yeah, it's gorgeous. And then like she did, my favorite part about it is that like she has little holes in the corner gauge so that if you need to measure like a full three inches it's the whole corner gauge but then you can the holes also represent one inch and two inches like if you wanted a smaller corner it's brilliant anyway so um that like i said i can't find <laughs> um and then we had everyone got a little swag bag when you were there and um it had thread drops in it which Heck yeah, I think these were in it, or these were either in it, or I got them from one of the Music City Cross Stitch lady. Yes, Music City Cross Stitchers. I can't remember, but thread drops, I should probably be using those. Um, wax, thread wax, beeswax, don't know, you guys know, anyway, that stuff. <laughs> I have some now, um, and I will probably never remember that I have it, if you want to be honest. And then we also got um, this design, and it's um, I Shall Be Mistress of Myself by uh, Katrina Boyd. Her design name is My Buddy Grace Designs. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. So that's the little piece, and she did actually have the model uh, there so we could look at it. It says, I... I will keep calm, I will be mistress of myself, and uh, that's a quote by Jane Austen. So, whoops, so there you go, there's that. And then um, she also gave us the floss that we needed to stitch it. So, super excited about that, because um, it's basically already kitted up for me. So at some point, I should actually stitch this. That would, that would be nice. I love that card too. Anyway, yeah, so, um, is that all of my retreat haul? <laughs> I, I think that it is. Uh, Hands Across the Sea sampler. I got that at the retreat, not the fabric, but the pattern. Um, although I did order the fabric at the retreat. Um, I actually ordered the fabric before I paid for, <laughs> um, the... I ordered the Hands Across the Sea fabric before I paid for the fabric and the patterns and everything that I picked up off the tables. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, but I think that that's all of my retreat haul. There were a few needle minders. Um, this one, I got my needle minders from Brenda's Minders and More. She has a Facebook group. It'll be linked. Um, I got this little mustache one. There's, <gasps> hold on, there is another thing that I got at retreat, so pause. Okay, so I don't know how I completely forgot about this. So, okay, I always mix these two up. This is why I forgot. Bees and butterflies. Anyway, there's a pattern. Oh, somewhere. I'm like, something dropped. Okay. So, this is not what I was about to show you, but um, I said bees and it made me think about it. This I also bought at the retreat. Um, so, it's actually kind of funny that I did this because y'all know for market, I bought her um, Monarch. 
so they totally have to like go together. I've got a, I've got a plan. I'm not gonna talk about it, and uh, I think I've mentioned it before, but we'll talk about it again when it actually happens, cause it's kind of changed. So this is the Blackberry Rabbit Queen Bee. Love it. Um, okay, so the one that I, the two that I always get confused are Quilting Bee and HL's Moth. Quilting Bee from the Blue Flower was. I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure that Quilting Bee was a market release last year, I think. Um, and I bought that last year, not at this retreat. I bought HL's Moth at this retreat. Um, yeah. So I saw it, I bought it, and then I also happened on the fabric table to see this fabric and I had to have it. You guys have seen this before because I've shown you all this project. Um, had to have it because y'all know this is this is my jam and and the modeling. I love it. So um, this is Under the Sea Fabrics 14 count and you guys know if you've been here a while you'll also maybe remember that I don't really do 14 count but um, it's been dyed so it stitches more like a 16 so I'm okay with that. Yeah. But that's that fabric. Um, so this was my retreat per retreat purchase that turned into my retreat start, like while I was there. Um, yeah. So I'm not I'm not doing um, again. You're just gonna get to see it because I'm holding it up. But I'm not gonna do the little letters, just the butterfly. But yeah. So um, the pad this pattern in the fabric I bought there. Um, Quilting bee the pattern I did not buy at the retreat, but I did buy the fabric. So here's where I am on this. Also haven't worked on this in a minute. Um, but this is what made me think about um, this piece because my other needle minders that I got from Brenda are on here. So this little turkey guy. I had to get him because of his facial expression and it's a turkey. And then butterfly, obvious reasons, obvious. Um, yeah. So yeah, I love it. I really need to start stitching on this again. Anyway, so that's that. Um, I did get a fourth needle minder from Brenda. It was some, I can't actually remember <laughs> exactly what it was, but it was red and white and sparkly. I do remember that and I gave it to my mom. Um, yeah, when I gave her her bag. So there's that. And that fabric, um, under the sea fabrics, Anubis. A-N-U-B-I-S. Okay, now <laughs> that's all of the haul. And that is also everything I needed to catch you guys up on. <laughs> I was possibly going to put a craft with me on the end of this, but that's not happening because this is an hour long. So um, there you go. I hope that this keeps you company for at least an hour and also gives you time to go watch other people because it's only an hour so yeah we'll we'll see um i am hoping to do a craft with me video this weekend especially since i'm back in my apartment uh part of the issue with like doing them at my boyfriend's apartment is that if he's there um like it it's just awkward to film <laughs> um yeah that was partially why i didn't film last week because he had off work and he was there and the one time that he left the apartment I didn't think hey you should be filming right now so I didn't get another chance and then I never felt like filming so that's okay just making it through um and even when I do skip I clearly have lots of stuff to show y'all a lot more crafting time now um without having to drive places and all of that so yep all right Per usual, I'm now rambling, so that means it's time to love ya and leave ya. Um, okay, so until Sunday or next Wednesday or whenever I see you, happy crafting y'all. Stay safe, stay sane <laughs> um, as much as you can, and yeah, enjoy your downtime if you're getting it. I don't know. And go outside, y'all. I think a lot of us are getting 
some decent weather now. Um, so enjoy, enjoy, enjoy as much as you can. Until next time. Bye, y'all.